fellow crafters, I am so excited to post today's video because it marks the end of our Yoda. Let's get started. All right, guys, we're ready to start on the robe. We're going to use the beige yarn. It did come with the kit. If it looks like you might not have enough beige yarn, maybe you've got a different color that you want to make his robe out of, or maybe you have some beige yarn in your stash. So the first thing that we're going to do is start with our slip knot. And that's just really quickly pull it through, tighten it up on your hook. We're going to begin by chaining 17. The nice thing about the robe is that it's not going to be crocheted in the round, I don't believe anyway, so it looks like it'll be pretty simple. So we crochet 17, just single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, and 17. So I've got my yarn hanging down a little bit, so it's creating a bit of a tension and making me crochet a little tighter. So if you notice that, maybe give yourself a length of yarn that's right next to you and doesn't have a pull on your needle as you're crocheting. That'll help keep your stitches a little bit looser. I know I've said this before, but I do tend to crochet tight, so it's easier if you don't. Now we're going to do two single crochets in the second chain from the hook. So here's our hook. Going into the second chain, we're going to do two single crochets. One and two, right back in that same stitch. And then we're going to single crochet in the next 14. So then we'll do 14, one in each stitch. There's one, two, three, four, five. I know you guys are old pros at this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, and 14. And then at the same as at the beginning, we're gonna take two single crochets in that last stitch. One, two, and then we're going to just chain one and we turn our work. So now we're gonna work on the other side, our, our stitch will still be going from right to left. We just turned it around once we made that single crochet. And that completed row one. And now in row two, we're going to take two single crochets in the next two stitches. I'm sorry, we're gonna single crochet in the next two stitches. Sorry, I read that wrong. So one, and then go to the second stitch and do two, And then we're going to chain five. I think we're making the area for his arm, um, for the arm, or the sleeve, sorry. So we're gonna chain five. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So we've single crocheted our five, and now we're going to skip four stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and we're going to single crochet in the next six. So there's one single crochet, 
You see, we've made the hole where our sleeve is gonna go. So there's our second one. It'll really pay off if you single crochet a little bit looser um, because it'll be easier to get into these stitches. So there's three, four, five, and six. And then again, we're gonna chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna skip the next four and then we're gonna single crochet in the last two. So there's one, two, three, four. We single crochet in this one. We're right at the end now, we single crochet in that very last one. That was actually our turn stitch before. And then we chain one and we turn. So now at the end of row two, yours should look very similar to this one with, an, with a hole on each end that was created when we chained five and then skipped the four. So then you chain one and turn. So we've made our chain to turn. We're going to do two single crochets in that first stitch after our needle, two in the same stitch. Then we're going to take one single crochet in the following stitch, and you can see we're right at the top of where we chained those five. Now we're going to single crochet in those five stitches. So, there's one, two, three, four, and five in that last one. And then we'll work six single crochets, just moving right along. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, and then we single crochet along that five, those five that are above that circle again. So we single crochet one. Two, three, four, and five in that last one at the bottom of those five. That's our fifth. Then we go into that last stitch, or the second to the last stitch, and we single crochet. And then we go into the very last stitch and we do two single crochets. There's one and two. And then we chain one and make our turn. All right, that's the end of row three. You can see over here on figure F that it shows you exactly where we're at. Ours looks very much like that.
And then we're going for row four, we will do two single crochets in the next stitch. So there's one and two. And then we're going to single crochet in the next six. One, two, well, I pulled my needle right out. That was our second stitch of six. There's three. Four, five, six, and then row four continuing. We do two single crochets in the next one. So there's one. Go back into the same hole and do a second. And then we single crochet in the next six. So there's one. Two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to repeat that process. So two single crochets in the next stitch. One, two, And then we're going to single crochet in the next six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Two single crochets in that last one. So one, two, and we chain one to turn. So you can see that our robe is getting wider at the bottom than it will be at the top. So if you want to take your Yoda to kind of give you a visual, it'll slip right on. I'm going to pull my needle out. This is going to slip right onto Yoda, like so. Okay, so this will slip right onto Yoda, like so. We're going to continue to make this wider as we go around and um, give Yoda the length of this robe that we'll be creating in the next few rows. So if you want to try yours on your Yoda to make sure that you're spaced appropriately. Now would be a good time to do that. We know that we just finished row four. Now if you're afraid that you're going to get interrupted, you can certainly put a piece of thread in there to kind of keep track of where you are. I went ahead and marked row four with a piece of red thread. And going on to row five, we're just going to single crochet all the way across, and we should have 26 stitches. For the sake of speeding up this video, I'm going to turn off the video, crochet my 26, and be right back with you. I know you guys know how to do that single crochet by now. All right, completing those single crochets in row five, you should have single crocheted 26. Now we're going to chain one to turn. And starting on row six, we're going to single crochet in the next eight. So there's one, two, three, four, Six, seven, 
seven and eight. Then we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. There's one and two. I have a pink thread woven around my yarn here. Flip that really quickly. Okay, so that was two single crochets. And then we're going to single crochet for another eight. There's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. And then we're going to do two single crochets again in one stitch. One, two, and then single crochet in the last eight. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And interestingly, it does not have us do a chain one to turn, um, but I think we need to. So I'm gonna chain one and turn it. It just makes the turning a little bit easier. And so then we're going to single crochet back all the way over to here. There should be 28 stitches. And again, I'll turn off the camera to save time. All right, here we are at the end of row seven with 28 stitches. And if you wanna know if your robe is going to work for Yoda, go ahead and just slide your needle out and before we cut it off and and finish our robe I'm gonna make sure that my length is good so as you can see um, my length on little Yoda here looks pretty good it covers his body I think that's how it should be um, we have it all the way down to the bottom and his little feet should still show a little bit according to our picture but I think we're good so I'm gonna go ahead and clip off my red thread. Get that out of the way. And then take my robe off of Yoda. We still have to do the sleeves. So I'm gonna cut this tail a little bit long So that I can weave it back in and see how I have the loop here we're just gonna pull that end right through to tie off our robe and then since I was able to leave a long enough tail then I'm going to just take my needle and kind of a little back stitch here because I want it nice and tight and then I'm just gonna weave it through that bottom layer and that's really easy to do with that needle. See how I weave that in? We'll take that tail right down. You won't even notice it. It's on the inside of his robe and we're gonna just snip it off close. With the tail that I started with, I'm just gonna take and weave up the side and grab that and make it look like it's part of the edge of my robe. And that's pretty easy to do with your crochet hook. Um, if you didn't leave a long tail in the beginning. 
I always forget to do that with a slip knot. If you left a long tail, then grab it with that needle and weave it in like we did the, the tail at the end. But there you go. Just weave that right in. You can't tell that it's there and we'll snip off this very end. All right, so we have the start of Yoda's robe. I like to do measurements. I hope that helps you guys. Um, so I'm just going to measure here. My robe measures about five and a half inches, starting at the five. If I pull it, it goes to six inches. It goes all the way to the 11. So that's how long my robe is. And then the width of my robe is about um, from seven. It's almost um, an inch and three quarters wide. Just to give you an idea of what size that has ended up being. So now to start our sleeves, starting with a slip knot and a long tail so we can weave it in at the end, we're going to chain 11. Again, this is the beginning of our sleeves. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and 11. And then we are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So we just go in, make a single crochet, and we're going to single crochet in the next nine. So that's one. We'll have 10 when we're done. So there's our first one. So start with one. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then we're gonna chain one to turn it just like we did on the robe and we have a total of 10 single crochets. In row two, we're going to single crochet in each one of those 10. So there's one, two, Three, four, five, six. I split my yarn. You saw that I split my yarn there and I had to put it back together um, to continue crocheting. Just take it off and put it back on your needle if that happens to you. So there's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Take that last stitch and chain one to turn. Okay, we are now on row three and we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch and then single crochet in the next eight and two single crochets in the last stitch. So we'll have 12 when we're done. Remember two in that first stitch. Just can't seem to get keep enough yarn up here. And then single crochet in the next eight.
eight and then sing two single crochets in that last stitch for a total of 12. There's one and two. Then we're going to chain one to turn it. For our last row, we're simply going to single crochet across those 12 and tie it off, leaving a length of yarn. And then we're going to repeat that process. So I'm going to turn off the camera. I'm going to single crochet those 12, make a second sleeve that looks just like this, and then I'll come right back. When your sleeve is finished, I want you to take and leave maybe 20 to 24 inches of yarn at the end so that we have plenty to sew our sleeve together and then to sew it onto um, our little jacket here. So we're going to fasten it off by pulling the end out and that just tightens that loop up. And then I want you to take your needle and go ahead using the, um, I think we'll use the short tail that we started with. And if you left it long enough, you can use it to sew your Yoda sleeve together. It's going to go, um, goodness, I have a hard time threading my needle. Hopefully it's easier for you guys. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna take the short piece because we're not using a lot um, to sew this together. So we wanna take lengthwise and fold it short ends together. And you can see that we started off with um, only nine single crochets and we ended with 12. So that makes the top um, narrower than the bottom. So we're just gonna take our thread and we're just going to sew this together. So I'm just weaving in and out, taking some stitches to secure that um, section of yarn into a sleeve. And it doesn't matter if you're going to use all of this short piece up because we still left a long enough tail at the other end to sew our sleeve to our, our robe. So we're just gonna continue to stitch this together until it's completely sewn shut. Clear down to the bottom and then I think we'll just take a couple of back stitches in there. And this is a good time to split your yarn when you're taking those back stitches. You saw me split my yarn on my crochet hook several times through this project, but it's totally acceptable to, stitch, um, to split your yarn when you're stitching something together. And then I'm just weaving my needle through so I can pull that end out and cut it off. Okay, one sleeve is completed. I'm gonna lay that aside and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with my other sleeve. Again, I left a long enough tail when I started the sleeve that I can use it to stitch the underarm seam of the sleeve together. Again, we want to fold it short edges together. And it's gonna be shorter at one, or smaller, the opening will be smaller at one end than the other. We're gonna go ahead and stitch that together, just like we did the other one. Again, I'm so proud of you guys for following along and getting this project done. You've been amazing to hang in there and complete it. Sometimes we get these things as gifts or we buy them for ourselves thinking it will be so simple, only to find out it is so much harder than we anticipated.
A lot of kits end up being that way, I think. So I've completed my stitching. I'm gonna take a couple of back stitches right there at the end, and then I'm gonna take and weave my needle through my project. Out to one side, pull it tight, and then we'll clip this off. As you can see, the tail that we're still going to work with is at the largest end of our sleeve, and we want to take our smallest end and sew it to our opening. So the way to do that and not see any of our yarn will be to go ahead and thread our needle. And then we want to work our needle right back up the same seam that we just closed um, Yoda's sleeve with. So you can see I just slid it up through there. It's splitting through the yarn. Might be a little hard to pull that through. But then what will happen is we won't see any of our tail and that will help us have our yarn at the right place to start stitching it onto the sleeve. We want, just in case this is a little lumpy um, and it's a little obvious to see, we're gonna put our seam side down, so towards the base of the jacket, and with our, with our um, small end of our sleeve facing the hole, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it and go to the center because that's where I want my seam. And I'm just gonna start stitching this sleeve in place. You can see I took one stitch there. I need to pull that all the way tight. And again, we wanna keep the small piece at our opening and the large piece um, towards the base of his jacket. So I am going to take my needle, pull it through to the inside, and then, I, having taken that first stitch, now I can work, I believe, on the inside. So from the inside of this hole, I can just hold that, jet, that sleeve in place and take stitches. If it's easier for you to do it from the outside, you certainly can. But I sew quite a lot, and it seems easier for me to put it on from the doing my stitching on the inside of the sleeve. Because I know that my sleeve is in place, and I just have the two edges together right there, and I'm just taking stitches. And since I was able to leave a long enough tail, remember I said about 20 to 24 inches, I know I'm gonna have plenty of yarn to take as many stitches as I want and make this sleeve super secure. I'm just working my way around that sleeve. And if there's any doubt as to what that's gonna look like, you can certainly come to the outside and you can see how well that's stitching on there. I still have that gap. I'm gonna continue working around until the entire sleeve is stitched on. Okay, come back out. Looks like I've gotten everything stitched in place. So there's one sleeve done for Yoda with my seam to the underside. Okay, we're gonna take a couple of back stitches right where that sleeve, when we finish tying that sleeve on, and sometimes it can be kind of hard to get your thread through. But persevere, make sure it's good and tight. And then as before, we just weave our, the very end of the tail through a couple of stitches on the inside. And again, you're not gonna see that. And we're going to clip that off and we are done with that sleeve. Moving on to the next sleeve, we already have 
it in place as far as stitched up. Remember, we're going to take our long tail, thread our needle, And then we're going to get this long tail back up, just coming inside that sleeve. We need our tail to be up here at the narrow part of the sleeve. Okay, going to the other sleeve hole, we're going to lay our sleeve seam side down towards the underside of the robe. And again, this is on the outside. We're just gonna take a stitch about center about the center of the opening on the bottom half of that hole. So it's on there and then I like, as I said before, to stitch from the inside. As I said before, I like to stitch from the inside so I'm going to just pull that needle to the inside, get my stitches lined up and in place. You can see my finger through here and I'm just holding both pieces together. I'm just gonna take some stitches all the way around that opening. And again, be patient because it is hard to get that yarn through, but be really careful that as you pull through here with a stitch, you don't tie a knot in it. If you do, stop and be patient enough to take the knot out. Otherwise, it will be, um, it won't be such a nice seam when you're done. So again, just working around from the inside, working around the sleeve opening and stitching that on. It's the same way that I would do a, a shirt sleeve or a dress sleeve if I were sewing. I always work from the inside when I stitch that sleeve on. And so it, it just seems like that makes a lot more sense even when I'm crocheting. See how I almost tied that into a knot there? I need to back off and, and don't get it in a knot. Okay, we're almost around to where we began. See, I've just got a little bit more of an opening there. I'm gonna come in and finish that up. Okay, I'm back to the beginning. I'm gonna take one final stitch. Again, make sure I don't knot it come out, make sure that I've stitched his little arm completely on, or I'm sorry, the sleeve completely on. And since I think it looks good, we're gonna take a couple of back stitches to make sure that it's tied on nice and tight. And then we'll weave our yarn through. And we have almost completed the robe. Well, we have completed the robe, but we still have to chain our belt. Okay, clip that off. <gasps> Guys, we're ready to try this on Yoda. This is so exciting. Stick his little arm through there. It's a little harder than it looks. Goodness, it's like dressing a baby. Put his other arm in. Pull it through. Oh my goodness, this is so cute.
right, so we grab our brown yarn, find an end, go ahead and tie a slip knot in that. And we'll be weaving, you know what, I'm gonna leave a longer one, it's easier to weave it back in. So I'll let you in on a little secret. I was afraid that I would run out of the cream yarn that she had given me, and because I wanted mine to be the right colors for you guys, I went ahead and grabbed some cream yarn out of my stash. So my coat might look a little bit thicker than yours. This is the cream yarn out of my stash and you can see what a difference in width the yarn is that Lucy Collins sent with the package and the yarn that I used for his coat. So mine might be a winter coat compared to yours if you use the yarn that came with your kit. But that's what makes them unique, right? So for our, our belt, we're just gonna chain 30. That should go really quickly. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, whoops, 10, goodness, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, halfway there, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. I'm gonna cut that tail, finish it off just by pulling it through. That's our finish off. We have a chain of 30, and I'm just gonna take this with my needle because I left a long enough piece on each end, and I'm just gonna weave it back through because again, we want, it, um, we want to hide the ends. So the goal is to weave those ends back through our chain and I'm just gonna kind of pull it through. You can see I've just taken some stitches in there like that. I push my needle through, pull that end through. Straighten it back out. And then I can clip that. And you will not see the tail. So again, since I left enough on the other end, I'll be able to use that needle. And especially when you're doing a single chain like this, it's really helpful to use the needle to tie your ends back in. If for some reason you feel like 30, is not long enough for your belt, certainly can chain more. Again, this creativity is um, very individual. So your Yoda does not have to look like my Yoda or like anyone else's. It doesn't even have to totally look like the box. So here we go, we're gonna take our, our chain and do you see what, um, you know what, I'm gonna make mine longer. That might be enough for you, but I need, I told you my robe is a little thick. I'm gonna need to make mine longer. So I'm gonna make mine about 40, and I'll be right back. All right, here I am back. I decided to go ahead and do my belt at 45, because again, my robe is probably thicker than yours because my yarn was thicker than what came with the kit. So I take the yarn, belt around and just says to just do a quick tie. I'm just gonna do a square knot on that. And there we have it, guys. I'm so proud of each one of you for completing this project with me. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. Our Yoda looks pretty good. Well done, group, well done. Wow. Good job, you guys. I can't believe we have come to the end of our Yoda videos. I hope you've enjoyed this craft. It was much harder than I originally thought, 
and definitely hard for kids or beginning crocheters. So good job for those of you who have gotten this far and completed the project. If you'd like these videos, if they've done you some good, please give it a thumbs up and share it across your social media. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll get some new videos out, things that you can do with your kids this summer. And I'll see you next time on Crafting with Nana. Bye.